In Taklaban city, one of the hardest hit areas of Typhoon Haiyan, virtually nothing is left standing except the shells of what used to be homes and businesses. Large areas have been left flattened. Debris is everywhere, with some bodies still buried underneath. The numbers of people affected by the typhoon is now estimated at 13 million, including some 4 million displaced. The people here have lost everything. Bienvenido de Paz was evacuated to a community gym before the typhoon struck. His family is safe, but he returned to a completely destroyed home. It was a nightmare. It is terrible. Everybody was, uh, was out, and uh, only four, three buildings was uh, standing. And uh, all the... All the woods were scattered and uh, animals, people died in the street like that. And even now, uh, still there is a uh, dead body everywhere. Elena Ada Katindoy fled her village before the storm. When the storm hit, her husband stayed behind. He was hurt by falling debris and died a few days later. Andito na kay hatas man dito ang tubig yan ang mong balay kontra ang dinhi. <coughs> Pag abot sa tubig dinhi, nag, naglangoy hiya ang nanakon anak. Kaho mang paglangoy, amo na ito niya nga nagkabugbugbugbug na hiyan mga kahoy nga dagko. Wari, wari hiya sa mat, pero amo at ito ang dinhi lang na ito. UNHCR is distributing emergency relief items in and around Taklaban. Estimates are that so far they've reached 15,000 people. Getting aid to the most affected is a logistical challenge involving planes, trucks, and ferries. UNHCR is airlifting emergency tents and plastic sheets and other relief supplies from our different warehouses around the world um, to the Philippines to help the survivors of this typhoon. Uh, we're also working with the government to support any relief efforts, especially in the area of protection. And this is basically making sure that typhoon survivors, um, especially the most vulnerable ones, have access to basic services and assistance. Evelyn Casaba returned to find her coastal home completely destroyed. Now she is living beside the ruins of her house. Her makeshift shelter now houses four families with 15 people. Kay kung nauron gin an gin butang manamo ninin mga nangalkal man kami sim na utod-utod tapos bububa pag nauron na turo dire kami nagakaturo. The plastic sheeting gives them some protection from the rains as they continue to rebuild. Some families have left for the capital Manila to earn money to be able to rebuild. Others are being helped with donations. But the future seems very uncertain. Siyahan, tubig, mawawaran. Important ito, tubig. Pagkaon, wari mga trabaho, nak mga anak kay. Wari man mga mga tatrabahoon, wari namun mauukyan. So nakasurvive kami han bagyo, mamamatay giyap kami sa gutom. Amon ta akong damo mga bata, mamamatay sa gutom. Residents talk about feeling traumatized and worried when they hear the waves, a feeling that will linger for a long time to come. The UN has created two hubs in the east and the west of the main island, both areas seriously affected by the typhoon. The UN Emergency Relief Coordinator has requested airlifts for more relief supplies. UNHCR has increased its assistance to $15 million.